Hello, listener. This is 652, Wednesday, September 15th, 2021. This is the rambling traveler visiting beautiful uh, Morris, Illinois, where I spent the night last night. Um, so, this is something, a couple weeks ago, like, ten days ago, I was, um, if you take, uh, Eola, east, to where it dead ends, uh, into, like, Wolf's Crossing, there's a or Wolf's Crossing, one of the, t- or, uh, yeah, I think it's Wolf's Crossing, right next to it, right next to, uh, Wolf's Crossing Community Park. There's a little, um, like, park and ride, state, uh, parking lot, and, like, little bus terminal thing, you know, with, like, the glass dome, with, like, uh, this much open airway on the on the bottom rim of it so like hobos can't sleep in it and it respirates um you know it uh evap- lets the water evaporate after precipitation but i was just chilling out in there because um was homeless and just contemplating and this this kind young man said hey like this is like a there's there's sub, nice subdivisions right around it, and tons of traffic goes through. But this is just like an empty parking lot at the corner of a strange outlet thing, like uh, of the street. It's like a, just a, like a funnel thing to get through traffic. It's like a back way for the locals. Um, instead of going down like Route 34 or something <clears throat> in Naperville. And this kid pops his head and hey, are you all right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. He's like, well, you're just like, uh, you know, sitting in here. And it, it's not a, the place is not used. There's no parking ride there. It's just this open platform that was empty. So I'm homeless. I go out and hang out there. I'm like, oh, no, I'm just homeless, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And this kid came back with like a, like a, Big Mac and some fries and a drink. Like that is really kind of you. Thank you. And he gave me three fives. So these three fives. And it was a really nice thing to do. The kid's like 20 years old. I'm like, no, bud, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. And he, I wouldn't take it, so he stuffed it in my, the side of my bag. He's like, I'm just going to leave this here. I'm like, buddy, I, it looks like you're coming in, like, soliciting sex with me. Like, I literally said that. Like, that's what I fear. I, I, trust me, it's not that I'm, you know, above taking money from somebody um, a decade or more younger than me. Um who's just there's some college kid. I'm like, no, buddy, you're in sc- like, you, what are you, what are you in school, buddy? He's like, yeah, I study I, I, uh, internet, in, uh, IT, technical stuff. I'm like, uh, no, keep your money. But he wouldn't he say, I still have it. I didn't know what to make of it after the whole thing. Because I'm like, oh, IT. Well, I have this idea for a website. Do I still, so this is, Hey, who's that guy? Who the hell is that guy? Right there. Oh, it's just me. Um, so I had this idea for a website, which I think would be like the next, like the uh, video gamers Facebook. It's the next trillion dollar fucking website. And I thought of it like 10 years ago. 
And like every person, I've never met any programmers, and it's been an absolute hellish time for nonstop for the past 10 years, which like in some way culminated in going to prison just to then get out of prison and step right into this even more weird clusterfuck that is my daily life. Um, but I'm like, I, I explained the idea for the website, and the kid's like, like he knew what I was talking about. Oh, I think they already have that. I'm like, what? And he's like, my like, what? What? He's like, uh, I mean, you know, that sounds really a lot of work. I'm like, yeah, but I mean, if you know how to do it, what do you you want to put in two or three years of work and have enough money to like own the moon? And it makes me think. Because I've shared the idea with many uh, people who uh, were studying programming. I haven't met many, but like anyone I've met, ever met, I've mentioned the idea. And I've shared it with many, like, and the kid was Hindu. I think it was Devere or something like that. I asked him, hey, Devere, what, what, what uh, culture is that? And he didn't want to say it, the, you know, he said, uh, some... Asian, I think he meant Hindu, and he was in this. There's been tension, so he was just like, didn't want. I'm like, well, I'm not trying to say like, if you're this, you can't come under me. And he was still very, very generous, but the way he was like, uh, he knew what I was talking about. I wouldn't be surprised if they've taken that idea, made it, and like you're just like, won't give even like how many. Li- if it became this billion, billion dollar thing, which it should, I'm going to explain the website in a second. Like, you wouldn't give me one or two percent just for having the spark of inspir- the spark of genius to think of the thing? But I could see them doing that. And there's so much tension. And now I'm homeless. But, um, so this, the idea of the website is pretty great. So, like, it's uh, for Xboxers, Playstationers. Um... I call it, it's not BS, it's Better Setter, Better Setter, dot com, BS dot com, I don't have that domain, I like I've ever had even $10 to have a fucking domain name, um, I didn't, I just came with, I thought of that name, not, I mean pretty recently, but the concept has been unchanged the entire time, and I've explained it in detail to many a person. Um, so it's not quite gambling on video games. Look at this. Life's over. Even if I had a billion dollars now, it couldn't make my face less gray and weathered, gnarly, trodden down by life and experience. Um, no, it's not BS. It's better setter. So, it's not quite gambling. Because what you're doing is competitively setting the price of something and you can use your own stuff as like collateral. So let's say I have a bike. That shit bike right there. Let's say I get another bike. So now this shit bike, well, I'm not going to drive two bikes at once. How could I do that? But it's just sitting around at my, you know, in my room. If I had a room and I wasn't homeless, but I am. I'm homeless and I don't have a room or any place to lay my head, even the son of man. Um, hath not where to lay his head, though uh, birds of the air have nests and uh, foxes have dens. Um, so say I, I have this bike. I can enter it on, like, similar to a Craigslist. You can enter your thing, and people just scroll this thing. And if I win, so let me back up. Everyone, has, like, you have a profile, like your Facebook one. And it's like it has a history of like your, like a record of like your percentage of winning, your percentage of, it just has all the components of like the commerce you do on the site. And it's like a point of pride. But if I win, you pay me 50 bucks for my bike. If you win, you get it for 20. And then there's also a media, uh, like a $10 buyout price. You can make the buyout price, whatever you want. That's how, that's how it skirts the skirts gambling, but it's still, 
it's just a contract. It's a buyout price. You're buying someone out of the contract. So if you're getting beat at Madden NFL 2021, like you have you you agree to sell your bike. If I agree to sell my bike for 20 to you, and, and if I win, get 50. If you're creaming me, but I still don't feel like selling my bike for 20 bucks, I can give you that buyout price. I give you 10 bucks. So it's like I lost money on the venture when I had the collateral, my bike, representing collateral, to make money for me, but I can also lose money. So there's fine points to be decided. Like you can be playing for money without having any money. It's the collateral. It's like an eBay. But there's no, like eBay and and Craigslist, there is no negotiation. They've taken that out of it, the art of negotiation. What I would like to do, like you could sell your bike. You could sell services. If you're a plumber and you know how to, like you can advertise your services. If you do a shit job, it's going to show it on the, on your profile. This guy lost to me or, you know, he won. So he got this price for his service and came over and did my plumbing and it was a shit job. So, you know, so many strikes and you're out. But I mean, you, I would want, so like you're, it's, it's putting your own commerce back in your hands. Things you own, you can then sell. And eBay just won't be able to just buy everything out. Like you can't put something on eBay and get, there is no negotiation. It's an auction, right? But it's not even that. It's just like a bunch of Chinese uh, manufacturers that just flood it with every, anything. And Craigslist, which is unsafe. But that's the that's the component. That's the idea. And there's ways you can expand upon it. You could do so all of a sudden like you could have a purse where it's like you and five friends each put in five bucks are facing these guys, these six guys in your Call of Duty games. And uh, you know, the purse goes to the winning team which is divided among the players. So you're gambling in that sense. But if you use the website for, you know, kind of like an eBay, Craigslist, Facebook forum of competitive price setting, then it's not gambling at all. You're either getting, you're, you're, you're competitively setting the price, but it's based upon how good you are at video games. So you could realistically like... Um, turn no money into tons of money based on how good you are at video games. And like, I would think advertisers would love it because like it could have, you could have sponsored matches in which like sponsored purses for a certain, for players who like play a certain amount of threshold of competitive price setting events, incidents, episodes. So like you can earn the opportunity to play for free Taco Bell or something like Taco Bell's putting up a $50 purse here to the winning team. You know, those five to 10 guys or one guy or two guys, they split the free Taco Bell of the winning team. And like you could build up a Taco Bell uh, credit, a McDonald's credit. You could have all sorts of things paid for. If you're already playing Xbox and wasting your life anyway, you might as well be getting something out of it. It's like you could do clothes, you could do anything. And then any, it also gives you an opportunity to be your own entrepreneur, your own businessman, your own, it's like I, I, I thought of making part of the website called me, LL, me com. So bettersetter.com and me, LLC.com, me, limited liability company. So it's like, I'm a handyman. I can advertise my jack of all trades. These, and like you have a list, these are the things I feel proficient in. Um, if you're got fucking heating and heating and heating and air, uh, expertise, you could put that down and that you have like, you can be freelance, it gives you a venue both to play the Xbox you're already playing and use like earn extra freelance work for yourself. Like just because you're employed by a company as like a master plumber or 
HVAC guy doesn't mean you can't use that skill just because it's not on their clock. You still have the right to retain your own time and use it how you will. And that is your expertise. You do have it. My hair is turning. That's the light. But it is so blonding. I think it's because I'm going probably bald and gray and life's over. But there's a... And like, that would be like... Like, if you're good at these things, if you're good at video games, like, your score is going to dissuade people from playing you. But that means that they might potentially, if they beat you, get a great price for something that they were going to sell if you if he wins for, you know, three bucks. But if he beats, like, gives you a way to market yourself in every way. The things you own, the skills you possess. And, you're, and it's a form of entertainment. And it's not gambling. The purse one is skirting the lines of gambling. But I mean, it's the way I would run the site, like, the government gets its share first. It wants me to, it would want me to do this website because I'm making sure it gets paid. It's like, so like, you just license Xbox games. I would think old N Nintendo 64 games. You play Mario Kart for somebody to set up a competitive price. But I would I would want it. You could pick any game. So you'd get the licensing fees to Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo. They would get their end. E uh, PayPal would get its end. And you, our website would take, like Better Setter would take, um, you know, two percent or whatever of, of the purse so it's like it would just generate it would just be a cash cow you could play chess like you could license an old like the, the first yahoo chess games and like let people play chess for to competitively set prices you might never sell a thing and always go for the you know settle on the buyout price you might agree that the winner just gets the buyout price either way you're buying your way out of a contract it's not gambling you were obliged to pay this or this but you chose to do the buyout so it's totally legitimate and but i, I can imagine playstation xbox were like would think eh, fuck you we have full auto we have full monopoly over these why would we just want to like let you do anything that might like take away our influence within the industry so i would You'd be using Xbox slash Microsoft technology, but not necessarily. You just do same thing as a Craigslist and then up, you know, license old video games from Nintendo 64 if you wanted to like to start out. But I'm sure it would be huge. The commercials, I could already think of the commercials. Bull zit! And then guys, no, it's not. BS? It's BS! <clears throat> Something s stupid, silly. Two p it's not, and that guy gets a, in the middle of saying bullshit, gets cut off, and someone says, zit! Or like, sit! And she's saying to the dog, sit! Bull, sit! No, no, no! And the, they're still having their conversation. No, it's not! It's BS! BS.com! Bettersetter.com! You can set your own price for your expertise. You can set your own price competitively for those things. Or you could just like, it would just be a market. Like Angie's List and Craigslist. You can market yourself. Like you can use both skills then. Your Xbox expertise and your profession to get you the best price based on both events hugely competitive and people would take like considerable pride in like amassing excellent prices for them so that's like businesses do this all the time this is the nature of business is a is negotiating the best price for themselves theirs is based on a fraudulent and superficial a pseudo uh, supply and demand this is actually based on skill to some degree negotiation and at your video game of choice But the kid's like, I think they already have that. Wait, what? That that just seems yeah, that seems like a lot of work. Like, yeah, I know. But I mean, do you want to be 
what are you going into IT for then, if not to make some lucrative website? It's like he gave me this because it's like he lets let out of the bag that you know, they stole your idea and they just don't want to pay you anything for it. The brilliant idea. There you go. Anyways, that's how I see. So it's like, felt bad. Because all it has to do with like, um, the second I, I posted a bunch of controversial videos. Post one about pimple dick rackaxy and my aunt kicks me out of the house and does this awful acting job as though she's afraid of me. I'm terrified of you to leave you alone with my cats who are dead. It's a terrible world. It's like he gave me this $15 to, um, eh, well, they did kind of fuck you. It's like his family, because they're all very rich around here. And like, I've said these, this idea to like U of I Hindus who I used to hang out with like 10 years ago and they have tons of I've, I've discussed this with, you know, Hispanic people at car wash. And this one guy was really interested as like, Espanol hijacks my phone. I'm getting text messages in Espanol. There is no justice in this world. But I mean, if anyone would want to do that idea, I would, I would, you know, my hard work would be to, I mean, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't even demand 50%. The hard work is what would be getting the thing up and running. But I would just want, like, credit for having thought of it and, you know, something to retire lavishly on if it's worth, a, you know, a $20 billion fucking dollar company. I would want, you know, some small percentage, but, like, enough to take care of me. And, I mean, it is my, it was an excellent, it is an excellent idea and totally legitimate. And I did think of it. But it's not like I would be some miser that's like, The idea is mine! The business is mine! This wouldn't be the Social Network movie sequel. I just imagine it's already stolen.